Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you find out if H2CO that is formaldehyde is a polar or non-polar compound. To start with it, we first need to look at its lowest structure. So here is the lowest structure of this molecule in which carbon atom is forming a double bond with an oxygen atom and it is forming two single bonds with hydrogen atom. Now this structure itself cannot help us determine the polarity but it helps us understand the arrangement of atoms and uh, the arrangement of atoms in the molecule. So, once you know the Lewis structure, we, want, we need to know the difference of electronegativities between all these atoms. When you look at the electronegative value of hydrogen, it is 2.20, for carbon it is 2.55 and for oxygen it is 3.44. So, if you look at the electronegativity differences between hydrogen and a carbon atom, it is less than 0 0.4, which means that the bonds between carbon and hydrogen are dot polar there are they are dot polar bonds but when you look at the difference between the electronegativities for oxygen and carbon atom it is much higher than 0 0.4 which indicates that the bonds that are formed between carbon and oxygen atom are polar in nature as a result there is a dipole moment in uh, this molecule which is towards the oxygen atom from the carbon atom so the vector will be in the direction of uh, this oxygen atom and as there is a dipole moment in this molecule, it creates a different distribution of charges. The regions that are around oxygen atom will have partially negative charges and the uh, regions around carbon atom will have partial positive charges. And hence, uh, there is a dipole moment in this molecule which makes this molecule that is H2CO or formaldehyde a polar molecule. So always remember to check for the difference of electronegativities between the atoms in a given molecule to understand better and this will also help you to know if there is a dead dipole moment in this molecule. And if any molecule has not zero uh, dipole moment that means that that molecule is a polar molecule. I hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on lowest structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.